financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is investment strategies leading up to the election and what is a probate contest about? Good morning, Brian Small. Good morning, Ken. A pleasure to be here this morning. Good morning, Jeffrey Linden. <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Good morning. Good business. morning, everyone. Good morning. What was George Reeves? That was the original one. Yes. <clears throat> do you know who George Reeves? Is? I do. Black and white Superman from the was that was that the thir- was that the thirties? No, he I'm just transitioned kidding. to color. I'm just <coughs> kidding. I believe it was the kind of like you late fifties and early sixties, wasn't <laughs> yes. it? Yes. Yes. Investments. Just got there. All <laughs> right. So let's talk about investments. Let's get right 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 to it. All right. Now before. We talk about investments leading up to the election. I just want to kind of start with the ground base. And to me, the ground base is still the three-point retirement plan. You need to own your home free and clear, zero debt, cash in the bank. If you do that, you will have income generating to allow yourself to make, save money and make investments. If you saddle yourself with debt, overhead, mortgage, two lease payments, $300,000 of debt, a hundred or a thousand of it, which is credit card debt, the rest to the family, you won't have any money to invest. You you buy that? I do buy that. Okay, so focus on if you're in your (coughs) 40s and 50s, early 60s, focus on getting the house paid off. Once that mortgage payment is gone, you have extra cash flow, and then you invest it. And then Pat, who's an investment advisor, as well as a elder law expert, would be a good person to lead us in the discussion. Is there anything to do different in your mind because of the election? Well, uh, no. boy, that's a, that's a big question, Ken. So the question is, should I time the market, right? The election's coming up. What side of the fence on you either think the market's going to go through the roof because we're going to get the right president or the market's going to crash because we're going to get the wrong president and timing the market, you're always going to lose. Guaranteed, you're going to lose over and over and over again. So the answer is no, don't change your strategy because of the election. The answer is if you can't stomach it, you got to get out of the game, right? The market's at the all time high. And if you talk to a financial advisor, hey, I got to get out of the market. He said, you can't, the market's doing so great. And all of a sudden the market tanks and people get really scared. I got to get out of the market. You can't, the market's so low, you got to wait for it to come back. So the idea is you sell high and buy low. Trouble is everybody always gets that backwards, right? So if so, you, it's somebody's easy, getting it right. It's such an Very, easy concept, but it's hard to well, do. Well, if you could do it, you'd be in a 600 foot boat floating around in the Bahamas somewhere, right? Not after what happened last week. With that boat that sank with the well, three execs. Yeah, well, you'd be on a different boat. One of which was a lawyer. Because you just buy another one. One was, one was a you, lawyer, you one was an investment You just buy another 600-foot boat. No one can get it right. No one ever. So you either have to get in and stay in, because the ups and downs don't matter. When you're putting money into your investments, sometimes you're buying in high and the market's down, and sometimes you're buying in low, and everything averages out. If you start trying to time the market, you're going to get, right, get it right, wrong every right. time. That's a great concept in and of itself. But what about all these little various strategies? Like, I keep reading about, I'm over 60. Should I convert my that's IRA a to a question. Roth IRA? No, well, that's a, different, that's a tax plan. Now, this is investment. The issue is this. When I'm saving for retirement and I'm continuing to put into the market, 
the ups and downs don't matter because it averages out over the lifetime. Now, what you said, hey, I retired, I want to have an income that I'm going to live on for the rest of my life. That's a different strategy because now you're pulling out. And if you pull out to live on and the market's down, it can kill you later on. So the accumulation phase is completely different philosophy than the de-accumulation so phase. Really, you change phases once you're going to be pulling that money out. When you get what if you're just pulling it out for required minimum distributions? Do you well, alter your strategy it, it, there? It, well, it could because you're still pulling out. So the market, when the market tanked during COVID, you didn't have to take out your required minimum distribution. When the whole market, housing market crashed in a way, you didn't have to pull out because they, were, they suspended the required minimum distribution. Why? Because you're pulling out when it's down. Right. Right. That's when you need it most. And whether or not you have to or not, if the market tanks in retirement, it's going to change your philosophy. Should I go on that vacation? Should I go on that cruise? Should I buy that, you know, that boat? Should I buy the grandkids? You know, that different stuff. So the idea is the old days, it didn't matter. Why? Because everybody had pensions, right? You had Social Security and pension. You could always live on that. Who's got pensions anymore? Well, Brian, I know you have a pension. Ken's giving you a really good yeah, one, yeah, right? Yeah, haven't, haven't. So, no, that, that, uh, you, that yeah, isn't yeah, part yeah, of our partnership. Pen? Pen? Here's a pen. <laughs> Well, Sun? that's what yeah, it is. Yeah. Guess what? It's a red pen. It's a red pen. So if you ask my wife, and you ask every wife on the in the viewing audience, are you more worried about how much you have in the account or how much income it's going to give you for the rest of your life? They're going to want to say income. I want to know what my monthly income is going to be so I know what to live on, right? That's called an annuity. Social Security is an annuity. Pension is an annuity. So People you... convert from a <coughs> retirement account ups and downs to an annuity, which is an income stream. It's so a it's different a, philosophy. It's an annuity from the standpoint that's the philosophy of how the money's coming out. Do Gar you think you should? How do you change the mix of your investment holdings to accomplish that? You can change the mix of your investment holdings to accomplish that if you have the advice and you talk to the people that that you, the people that you talk to and the advice they give you, if that seems right for you, that's a strategy that you can absolutely use. Guaranteed income you'll never run out of. Who wouldn't want that? So as we head into the break. Did you like break, the concept of going to a guaranteed income? I hate the ups and downs. I hate, and my wife hates the ups and downs. For a whole portion of my investments, that's going to be part of it. Let's take a break. We'll come back right on this. Yeah. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Okay, Lisa, we have one last question for you. How old should your grandkids be before they can take the money and spend it on their own? Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Thanks, and I'm getting mine next week. 35. You've worked hard your whole life to create a lasting legacy for your heirs. Let Samasco Law help you make the right decisions to protect the ones you love. Samasco Law, protecting what means most because that's what we do. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt but you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke 
and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. All right, we're back. Now, Brian wanted to ask a question at the break, and we said, hold it, but I decided, no question for you. Well, I'm still asking the question. So, all right, most people have different sets of investments. You've got your retirement, like your 401k and your IRA, which is easy to sell stuff inside of it because there's no capital gains issues or anything like that until you take the money out and then you pay ordinary income tax. The harder issue is investing with post-tax dollars and- You're not qualified money. Yeah, and, and now how do you shift those monies without suffering capital gains taxes uh, and things like that? Because it's hard to like get go from like your aggressive portfolio to a conservative portfolio as you age without selling it and... Well, everything you're talking about, you're worried about losses, right? You have losses in an IRA. Taxes, IR actually. Well, but no, no, actually no, because it's you're worried about you're going to convert it right from a this stock to that stock I and mean, when you do that you're going to have to pay taxes on it. and that taxes if you're paying taxes that's a loss whether it's a stock market so loss or paying taxes in yeah the IRAs it's the same thing if you're worried about the market crashing you're going to sell your stuff in your non-qualified money and you're going to be paying taxes on it if you're worried if about that you have to get in the mindset I don't want to worry about that anymore I want to get out of that lifestyle of the ups and downs and put a portion of it is that I want to have it protected. Sadly, the old days, you could protect it in a bank account making 1% interest, right? At least now there's some you know CDs that are paying 5%, which is amazing. Yeah, there's still money markets yeah, that are paying 5%, yeah, yeah. too. So, but the question is, what do you do, right? And what advice do you get? And who are you going to get the advice from? And this is the problem. When you go to the different people, they're going to tell you different things. Ken, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, a Lincoln Nautilus. If I went to 50 Lincoln dealers, how many times would they talk about a BMW? Zero. Why? Because they want to sell you a Lincoln. That's exactly it. So if you go to a stock guy, they're going to talk stock. If you go to a banker, they're going to talk bank. You're going to talk to annuity guy, they're going to talk annuities. Every, you talk to life insurance guy, they're gonna sell you life insurance policy. You talk about it with your bankruptcy stuff all the time. If you go to a bankruptcy lawyer, you're only gonna hear about bankruptcy. So you have to talk to someone that can do anything under the sun, and a true fiduciary is gonna do what's best for you. The advice is gonna be what's the best advice for you versus how he makes his money. And that's the problem, you have to find the right advice from the right guy that can give you all your different options and then steer you in the right direction. But the big key thing is you really have to make a mindset decision. Right. And when you're at the cusp of retirement, if you've been in the market with the ups and downs, do you want to continue in that mode, riding the wave, even though it may, you're riding the wave on the hope of a higher ultimate return, but you have to be able to deal with the lows. And right. if you need to pull the money out at the lows, that's going to hurt you. That's or do you want to shift to a much more stable environment right. with some kind of 7 8% return? Can you get that? Oh, well, not on any guaranteed basis. But here's the thing. If I ask you, here's your perfect <coughs> investment. Principles guaranteed, right? Never lose a principal. If the market goes up, you share in the market growth. You don't get all the growth, but you share in it. And as it grows, it gets locked in that's over time. That's an insurance-based annuity? The, well, that's what it is. Yeah. That's called an indexed annuity. But if you talk to anybody, I never want an annuity. It's horrible. It's rotten. Why? 
because my guy told me it's bad. Well, Why it, does he tell it's bad? Because he doesn't sell them or doesn't yeah, offer them. Yeah, and it's not very liquid when you're in your 40s, but when you're in your well, 70s that, see, now we're and you just want that stable income, now we're switching. The ups and the downs yeah. don't matter in your 40s What and happens your to that annuity when you die? Whatever's left over goes to your wife or the kids. Okay, That's so it does, does it stay an annuity forever or does it turn into it pays a out. lump sum? It pays out. Typically, they pay out over to. In fact, uh, I've seen some of them have a, a uh, an additional benefit if you end up needing uh, like uh, nursing home care. Well, what happens is the you uh, it's a ten year annuity, say, and you can pull out ten percent per year. And if you die, whatever's left over goes to the kids, and they get it immediately. If you say, well, gee whiz, if you pull more than ten percent out, you're going to pay a penalty. Well, if you're in a nursing home, they waive the penalty. If you die, they, there is no penalty. How do you f match those making the move into that type of investment with the idea of maintaining the flexibility for elder law planning if you want to do it? Well, you got to make sure you're using them the right way. It's a tool in the toolbox. You don't use a hammer for unscrewing a screw. So everything needs to work in the right way. And there's some very unscrupulous annuity salesmen out there there's also some very unscrupulous every other type of investment advisor out there. So you got to make sure they fit your portfolio the right way. There isn't any annuity that said, I'm going to do it to get this benefit or that benefit. It's just another type of an investment so philosophy. The, the, whole, yeah. the whole picture. But the question that's illiquid, right? Well, are you ever going to pull out more than 10% of your IRA? Mostly not because you're going to pay higher taxes on it. Most people don't want to pull anything out of their IRA, but they have to. So it has to be liquid enough to pay your bills. So now what you do, you have one bucket that's the ups and downs. You have one bucket that's the protected. So if the stock market's way up and you want to buy that car, take it out of the, that bucket. If the market tanks and you still want to buy a car or you want to live on it, you pull out of the other bucket where you don't have any losses. So instead of one, it's called... Um, Asset allocation, it's called product allocation. You're assigning a certain amount of your investments into a product with an insurance company that can guarantee those uh, from you losses. You said to make sure it's the right insurance company. It's a, well, it, there's a ton of insurance companies that do them, a ton of them that do it. It's the one that fits you the best, right? One, one thought that I had with regard, a couple thoughts with regard <coughs> to the election that, that, that I did have is one is I happen to think that the Fed is going to loosen and cut interest rates for this reason. The Fed is worried about a change in the administration because they want to maintain their independence. And maintaining their independence means that the Democrats need to win. So I see the Fed cutting rates in September. Let's take a break. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Time for announcements. Oh, and I announce we've opened, Thav Gross has opened a new office downriver in the Horizon Building on Eureka Road. So now we're in Flint, downriver, and also our home office in Bingham Farms. 
Remember, you can always come in for a free consultation. You can do it by Zoom conference, in the office, any way that works best for you. Just call 888-235-HELP or go to the website, thevgross.com, to sign up. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business law issues, elder law issues with Pat or Kelsey, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner. Again, sign up at lawandreality.com or thavgross.com or just call 888-235-HELP. Also, if you go to the website, you'll see there's free, report, free reports. Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions by Jeff Linden and myself. Bankruptcy, Is It Right for Me by Brian Small. How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure. Business Formations, Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Detroit and Michigan. And The Retiree's Guide to Social Security by uh, Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Stav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. For almost 60 years, Samasco Law has been the trusted source for helping families navigate the uncertain world of estate planning and elder law. And now, our firm is growing even stronger with the addition of attorneys Joe Frazard and Kelsey Samasco. Two more lawyers to make sure your family is protected now and into the future. Call Samasco Law today for a free consultation. Our hardworking team is standing by to provide you peace of mind. Samasco Law. Protect what matters. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, we're back. Next question. You hear all the time the idea of converting either your 401k or your, your standard IRA to a Roth. When should you do that? Should I do that? Should I do it because if I think that the tax rates are going to jump up in a change in administration, although they're saying nothing unless your income's over 400000 joint, um, or, you know, what's the benefit there? Well, you hit on the head. It's you do it when the tax brackets are low. Right, so start out with the young kids starting out. Their income's low, right? And that means they're in the lower tax bracket. They should convert right away. They shouldn't convert at all. They should just do a Roth right. 401k. Well, or they're a Roth eligible because their income's below the threshold. Well, right. whatever it is, do it instead of doing a traditional 401k, do a Roth, right? Because, and as you got kids and you got lower tax brackets, you do that. Later on, the hardest conversation that I have with all of my clients is you need to be pulling more money out of your IRAs. Well, I don't need it or I don't want to pay the tax. It's not the tax, it's the tax bracket that's the key. So you always want to be paying out in the lowest bracket possible. So we talked about when they suspended the need to do an RMD with COVID. The question was not do I have to, it should you. And the, usually the answer is yes, you should absolutely be pulling money out and you should typically be pulling more money out. And what do I do with it? Put it into a Roth. Put it, and then the, what happens, the, it grows tax free at that point. So wait. And the beneficiaries get it tax so you, free. So you take your money out of the regular IRA. You, you're basically, we're talking about people who are retired now should be pulling their money out when because you're in the lower when tax you're, bracket? Yeah, because when you stop working, you have to pull out when you're 73, but you stop working at 62. And you say, well, I don't want to collect Social Security, so your income's really low, so you should be pulling out of the money, out of your IRA, at, because you don't have that extra income, pull a lot out, and then convert it to a Roth. You said you wanted a guaranteed 8% return on your money. I can get it for you. Guaranteed. Don't take don't Social take Security, security so early. Because that's an 8% I, I increase. I followed your advice. Good for you. Yes. So how do you replace the income? You pull it out of your IRAs. So if you have a zero well, income. Well, no, I wasn't retired, so it was easy. Well, yeah, well, I know. Yeah. So when you do, when Brian finally 
does a coup and kicks you out of that chair and you're out traveling around with Bonnie and your income's lower, you pull out of the IRA while you're letting your Social Security increase. Just and then that, you can put it into a 401 or a way, Roth. On that way to 70, because I know it's a controversial topic. If you go on YouTube, you're going to find an equal number of videos saying do it, don't do it. You talk to your friends, you're going to get a no, completely no, no, no. different me, set of views. Let me give the answer. I can tell you, I followed your advice. Thank you. And it was easy for me because I didn't need that money. Well, let me jump in. But I'm in. telling you, the benefit now became way better than it was because we went through that high inflation yeah, period. Yeah, the cost then. of living. It, it, it's like This it's is like the a good problem, pension. Ken. It's not you asking your friends because they usually say, it's your money, you take it now. It's when you talk to your financial advisor, hey, should I collect it 62? Well, whatever you think. No, it's not whatever you think. Yeah, you tell advice. me. Right. And they say, well, if you collect Social Security, it's less draw on your retirement account. So they get paid assets under management. And if you're collecting Social Security, we can invest that money for you. There they go. You're, it's a less draw on your 401k and your IRA and blah, blah, blah. And they say, well, you do what you want. It's your money. Do what you want. No, you tell me. You should be drawing down on your IRAs with the lower tax bracket. And it's the Medicare surcharge. The more income you have, the higher your Medicare premium is. So you want to take the money out of the IRAs at the lower bracket. Here's, Does it matter? Oh, it's even more interesting. Here's the question. Medicare Here's the question. Surcharge, Hang on. Politics. Married politics. couple versus Same single. Thing. You, get, you can pull more money out. Let's talk politics. Married. No, let's not talk politics. Yeah, we're going to talk politics. Who in our viewing audience thinks tax brackets are going down in the future? Not a human being. Not anybody. We just crossed the aisle. We're all on the same page. Brackets are going up. Taxes are probably going they're up. Going we have up. to pay for all they're this They're going stuff. up, but whether they're going up that are going to affect the middle class up to, I mean, the There's benchmark no middle number class that's left. been out there now for, for five years. It's the lowest jo brackets joint, we've ever joint had. Joint income over 400000 yeah. which really excludes... 99% of right. the public. So, yeah. it's, so it's a 20, you want to keep in the 20, you absolutely keep in the 15% bracket. You want to keep within the 22% bracket for most people. Then look at the kids, because when you die, your kids inherit your IRAs. They're working. They have but, to pull it but, out over but, 10 pause years. Pause for a second, because we have one minute left. Even if you have, you're in the relatively high income bracket, the question is, by pulling it out, paying the tax on the Roth, then you get the accumulation tax free, and when the money does get pulled out, there's no tax. That still makes for an argument to do it, even if, let's say, you're in a 30% bracket. It all matters on your kids, because what are your kids' bracket? Because they get it when you die at their bracket. So if you're working, you're making 50 grand a year, and you <laughs> die and your kids are making $300,000 a year, you gotta max out your bracket. Opposite's true. If you're a federal employee and you have really good pension and really good income and your bracket's up here and your kid works at Subway, you take out the minimum because when they get it, and every parent says the same thing, I don't care, my kids get it, they have to pay the tax, they're getting enough. That's wrong, you're giving it to the IRS. You love giving money to the IRS, Jeff. No. <laughs> Brian does. No. no. On that note, we'll, take, we'll, we'll say goodbye. <laughs> See you next week. Thanks for joining. <laughs>